You're the God of awesome wonders I've tasted of your power <laughs> On me share Yanu You have shown me so much mercy Much more than I deserve For people of God this is your manifestation of God's glory. I am your host, Prophetess Katrin Obriki. We've come to share the word of God with you today. Our God is good all the time. Before we are going to share the word of God with you, let's pray. Father, we thank you, we worship you, we exalt your holy name. We thank you of a truth, you are a covenant-keeping God. And you say we should call upon you the days of trouble, you will answer us. We've come to share your word. Today, as men that will listen to the word of God today, Lord, let the heart be stable in you and let the hear the word and be the listener and the doer of the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We'll come with a wonderful topic today. We say, Come unto me in the time of trouble. Praise the Lord. A lot of us we are facing challenges of life, a lot of us we have come across with many troubles. The time of that trouble, we don't even know who to call. We call the wrong people. And when we call the wrong people in time of that trouble, we're going to miss it. Sometimes some people will lose their life. Some will be in a prison. So many things. But I've come to encourage you that when you are in trouble, the best person for you to call is God. And he has told you and I that we should call upon his name in the time of trouble according to the book of Jeremiah 33 verse 3. He said, Come upon me in the days of trouble, and I will answer you. So whatever thing you are passing through, the answer is in the hands of God. The answer is in the hands of God. So when you call upon the name of God, He said He will answer you, and He will deliver you, and He will show you great and mighty things. There are some things that cause problems in our life. The things that can cause problems in our life, one is disobedient. Then the second one is enemy at war. Remember that the word of God has told that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. They are principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, low in high places. That's why the word of God says, those that know their God shall do exploit. So I've come to encourage you, most especially my youth all over the world, youth all over the world. You need to know your God in the days of your youth. When you are facing trouble, it is God that you need to call. Some people call their friends. Their friends will lead them into wrong place. But I've come to tell you that the best person for you to call is God. Like he has told you in the book of Jeremiah, that when you call upon him, he will deliver you. He also said in the book of Nahum 1 verse 7, he said, The Lord is good and strong. When you are weak, when you call upon the Lord, you will be strong. When you are sick, when you call upon the Lord, you will be healed. All these are the facts. All these are the truth. I am a living testimony. I am a living witness of the word of God. When I'm facing challenges of life, when I'm facing situation of life, I call upon the name of the Lord. And God showed me himself strong and he gave me the book of Psalm 18. When I read the book of Psalm 18, I go close to God more. Challenges of life, they are true. He said, what can separate you from the love of God? Is it tribulation? Is it challenge? Is it trouble? He said, no. Absolutely no, because he has set it aside for us that he is there for us. That's what the book of Naomi is telling you and I. He said, the Lord is good and strong. Good. In the days of trouble and in no those that trust in him. It doesn't mean that as a child of God, you not a cutter trouble of life. You will. That's why I say, let not your heart be troubled. In my father's house, there are many marshals there. You are in need of so many things. Some people are in need of money. Some people are in need of good health. Some people are in need of marriage, children. We are in need of so many things. God said, he has it all. He has it all. The only time that you really need to focus is the time of your trouble. That is when you know where you belong to. Because the devil will come to deceive you and God will come to deliver you. Don't forget the book of John 10 is not for play. He said the devil came to steal, 
and to kill and to destroy. What is it coming to stay? Is that your happiness? By the time the devil steals your happiness, your heart will be in trouble. Your heart will be in trouble. He said, I know those that trust in me. Even in that your trouble, God knows that you are facing that challenge. But he said, call upon me. Call upon me in that your trouble. Don't call upon man. Don't call upon woman. Don't look as if you have missed it. You have never missed anything. That time of your trouble, that is when you need to focus on God and you achieve your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe I'm talking to someone that is facing challenges of life right now. I believe I've come to strengthen you in that very situation that you feel that all hope has gone. I want to encourage you. Your case is not like Lazarus. Lazarus only is dead. But if he came back to life, I want to tell you, your problem has not lasted for 12 years. Like the woman with the issue of blood. So whatever thing you are passing to shine it to God it is the solution. I call it problem solver. And you can solve all problems. It's bigger than your, your thinking. It's bigger than your worry. Whatever thing you are passing through right now, God is bigger than them all. That is why he said you should call upon me. And I will show you great and mighty things. There are some certain things that cause that problem in your life. You don't even know. But when you go back to God, God will show you what caused that problem in your life. He will reveal itself to you. And God will set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. God will set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. That same God who I call when I am in need. And he comes to my rescue and he rescued me. And he gave me victory. And I've come to tell you that that problem is just for you to come close to God. When Job is facing problem of his life, God, before that problem came, there was an inevitable intervention. But Job is not aware. Job is a man that feared God, shot evil. He's scared to do wrong. He always believed to do the right thing. But he still faced that kind of strong challenges. But because God knew that Job knew him very well. And God stood by him. And for you, your problem is not up to Job's problem. So why do you want to kill yourself? Why do you want to kill yourself? Don't kill yourself. The Bible says, forget about the shame of your youth. Many youths today, because of what they passed through, because of their lifestyle, they have concluded that they will not make it in life again. I want to tell you, your problem is not up to that woman with the issue of blood. Everybody rejected her. But she said in her heart that if she can touch, it is you that will say in your heart, if I can believe that Jesus is Lord and personal Savior in my life, you are saved. That problem will disappear. But you must believe it in your heart. You must believe it in your heart and your mouth must confess it. And when your mouth started saying all these things, devil will give you chance, my sister. Devil will give you chance, children of God. We are for signs and wonder. He said, because of ignorance, we perish. Because we don't know the truth. We don't meditate on the things of God. We don't go close to God in time of our need. We think that we can do it ourselves. We think that our relative around us can do it for us. But it is only God that can do it for you. No man can take God's glory. That challenges may come because of your disobedient heart. You are not the first person to, that disobey God. You are not the first. You are not the first person that disobey God. So then when you humble yourself, God will exalt you. God will exalt you. Trouble does not come through maybe by only the means of enemy, power of witchcraft. Your disobedient heart, you can enter into trouble. When the word of God says, seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, and everything will be added unto it. When you seek the kingdom, you will see face challenges of life. But say many are the affliction of the righteous, but God delivered them from all their trouble. I don't know the trouble that you are passing through right now, but God knows it. And you know it, and you know that you have not shined that trouble to the right source. Who is the source? It's only God. He said, Jesus is the way the truth and the life. And any man that come to me will never test. Are you thirsty? Are you in need? What are you in need of in your life? Come to Jesus today and be saved. Come, do not say tomorrow. Do not say, I, I'm still young. You are not young. Do not 
do that to yourself. Do not stop your destiny. Many youths, they have missed their destiny because of their disobedient acts. They have went to the wrong way, but salvation is still available for you to come back to your sense. Wherever you are watching, wherever you are listening, this is manifestation of God's glory. How does God's glory manifest in your life? Is by doing the will of your Father. Is by obeying God. Is by accepting Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. Then the glory of God will manifest in full. It happened in my life. That was 2010. And today, I am a benefit of the glory of God. I have the benefit of the manifestation of God's glory. That is why I can boast enough to come and tell you that God is real. God is real. Whatever problem you are passing through, God can do it for you. And when you bring your trust to Him, He will never disappoint you. He will never forsake you. What did the book of Psalm say? Psalm 50, Psalm 50 verse 15. He said, and I call upon him in the days of trouble, and he delivered me, and thou shalt glorify me. When God delivers you, you need to go back and glorify God. How will you glorify God? By telling the testimony to the whole world that our God is a savior, our God is a healer, our God is a deliverer. And I believe that as many of you that will hear the word of God today, your life will not remain the same and you will repent from your heart. God needs your genuine repentance. Come to Jesus and be saved. Repent from all your sins. Repent from all your spirit of unforgiveness. Sometimes you let go. You forgive your own self. Some people don't even forgive their own self because of their past life. They live in their past. That is the only thing that will deny you from the manifestation of God's glory. Don't deny yourself. Forgive yourself. The Bible has told you that forgive yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you cannot forgive yourself. When you love yourself, you let go. Many people are facing challenges of life today because of what they cause with their own hand. But they will not forgive themselves. So how do you want God to forgive you? You forgive yourself, you let go, you stand still and see the salvation of God. And I know God is going to touch someone by the reason of this message today. God bless you. Wherever you are watching, keep sharing the word of God. Our God is free. Jesus has come to die for you and I, to set you free from every oppression of the wicked one, from every oppression of the devil and his agent. Jesus has come to set you free. And if you are free, you are free indeed. And no power can cause you, and no power of trouble can take your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless you for those of you who are watching me, who are listening to the word of God right now. I believe that this message has touched you. So I don't know where you have made mistakes, where you have missed it, where you have rejected God because of the trouble you face. So I want to tell you that this opportunity has been given to you to come to Jesus. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't take it for granted. It's a great privilege. He said, come to me, even though your sin is dirty as shampoo. Come, let's reason together. So this time you are coming to reason with God through his word. And he said in the book of Matthew 24, verse 14, he said, and this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to, testimony to all nations and to the end will come. So before the end will come, it's good that you give your life to Christ. So I want you to come out and say this after me. Lord Jesus, I have accepted you today as my Lord and my personal Savior. I believe that you have said that word from your heart. So as I'm going to pray for you today, you are not going to remain the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as many of your children that have said this prayer to you, that they have accepted you from their hearts, Lord, you know their hearts, they are troubled. And you say they should call upon you, you will deliver them, you will heal them, you will set them free from every oppression of the wicked one. Father, Lord, as this one, they have come to accept you today. Father, do not deny them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Lord, set them free and deliver them and deliver their testimony to their hand and so that they will have reason to come back to testify of your goodness and so that they will have reason to say the Lord is good at all times and of a truth, your goodness and your mercy we keep on dwelling in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Wherever you are watching, keep watching manifestation of God's glory and share the live broadcast so that every word you can be saved, everyone can be part of this program and you will be richly blessed with your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever sin that you think that God cannot forgive you, I've come to challenge the pit of devil, the pit of hell, that Jesus can forgive from every sin. He said, all have sinned and cut short of his glory. He said, but if only my people who are called by my name will turn away from their wicked acts, turn away from their sin, hide the Lord will heal them and he will restore you. I see restoration coming to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I see God manifesting his glory in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Stay blessed, stay focused, stay true in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.